theological victory. So with that in mind, you'll notice then ver number three there in your uh, letter B and number three. Jesus' vision of the Messiah and that of the early church was drawn from the suffering servant songs of Isaiah. Now there are a lot of prophecies of the Messiah. The lion shall lay down with the lamb. When the Messiah comes, the blind, the blind shall see, the lame shall walk. Uh, the lepers shall be cleansed, the deaf shall hear, and the poor shall hear the good news proclaimed. Um, so I, I don't have a whole list of them, but it doesn't take long if I could just go off the top of my head and say, you know, uh, you know that when the Messiah comes, the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Uh, there will be great peace throughout the world. Uh, there would be um, um, uh, abundance of fruitfulness. No longer shall your lands, uh, you know, yield uh, you know, the, you know um, famine, but there'll be, you know, all, all children will be healthy. You know, all these kinds of very uh, beautiful images that when Messiah comes. And, you know, to some degree, even in the early church, we had to struggle with that because, well, what happened? He's come and he's gone and we still have disease, we still have death, we still have war. We don't always win, you know. And the answer to these things is some of those fulfillments are at the second coming, you know, of Christ. Some of them, we had now the first fruits in our soul. But our bodies are still falling to pieces and heading to the grave. At least mine is. <laughs> you know, but, um, you know, but at the end of the day, we have the first fruits in our soul. But one day our bodies will rise and one day all of creation will share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. And, and then the lion shall lie down with the lamb and, and so on. All of those beautiful images and the idyllic idea, beautiful, you know, recreation of all things and with justice and, and so on. So I think that's about the best I can do in a quick answer.